I just saw a story so baffling. I don't know if I'm supposed to call it the FBI, Child Protective Services, or Jesus himself, because honestly, at this point, I feel like we're beyond help. So there's this lady, Drea DeMatteo, who I guess used to be like a television star, but then she said some pretty whack stuff. And let's just say she is no longer a television star, but she felt the need to announce to the world that she has now started in OnlyFans, I guess to supplement the lost income. And that's all well and good. But when I got to the part where she said, she's involving her kids in the rollout of said OnlyFans, I literally had to stop and buffer. Whatever connections make my brain do the brain thing just dropped off temporarily. So today I just want to talk a bit about that because there's some interesting things going on here. Definitely raises some talking points I've had on my mind for a while. Um, and it's terrible. Yes, that's the main reason. <laughs> Soprano star Drea DeMatteo joins OnlyFans after being labeled savage, not accepting defeat. Uh, the 51 year old joined the subscription site in August. And as you can see, this story is brought to us by none other than our fabulous friends at Fox News, which is a sure sign that the amount of brain cells you're about to lose over the next few minutes, they probably owe you damages for legally, but I haven't been able to make them pay yet. So here we are. So this article is basically just a puff piece. We're not going to read the whole thing. Uh, trust me, you're going to see what the important parts are. Soprano star Drea DeMatteo doesn't care what anyone thinks about her decision to join OnlyFans. I know some people have said some nasty things about me having joined OnlyFans, but you know, the way we see it in this house is mommy's a warrior, not accepting defeat. DeMatteo told Fox News Digital. So we're starting off strong um, with this whole, I have ops and they're coming for me narrative that everybody like this likes to spin. It goes on to explain she's charging $15 a month. I just pulled this article up to see what else that $15 could be going to. You could buy yourself a mini waffle maker. Dude, you could get yourself a reusable nylon bag. You could even for only $12 buy yourself the world's smallest Jenga at Urban Outfitters. And that would still be a better usage of your money than paying for this ladies only fans. I figured, okay, so everybody's in their underwear and being sexy on Instagram and I don't do that, but I can do that and get paid for it. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. DeMatteo added, this moral grandstanding is so funny to me because she's like, I'm not like the other girls. You know, I don't post hot IG photos, but I'll do only fans. <laughs> Like, to be clear, OnlyFans isn't really the issue here. If that's something you as an adult want to do, do it and get the bag, honestly. But I mean, when you see her reasoning for this, you're going to understand how uh, ludicrous some of the stuff is. So she goes on to explain that the reason she's been blacklisted from the industry or whatever is that she refused to comply with COVID-19 vaccine mandates. This lady is an anti-vaxxer, I guess frequently speaking out against vaccines on Twitter. She says, I guess you could say I was a bad girl because I did not follow the rules a couple of years ago. So I don't want to be at the mercy of mandates or strike or anything like that ever again, DeMatteo said. And so this is really what I want to highlight here. No one did this to her. <laughs> she chose not to comply with mandates. She chose not to follow the Rules. This was a 100% on her thing. And when that resulted in her not having access to the same thing she had before, she's trying to spin this as, you know, people think I'm a savage. Like you, you did this. I, I, I never know what to tell people like this. Drea DeMatteo says her career has been impacted by her refusal to comply with Hollywood vaccine mandates. Yeah, no, no kidding. Let's say I just start refusing to comply with YouTube's rules. I'm like, you know what? I don't think YouTube's rules apply to me. I shouldn't have to wear clothes in my videos. When I uh, very predictably get my channel banned, it would be a little silly for me to sit there and pretend to be the victim when this was all up to me. But that's not all. Uh, she says her agent dropped her and she almost lost our home over it. People find that hard to believe that I was never really paid very much money for any of the jobs I've done, DeMatteo said. People think I'm made of gold and I'm not. I've worked job to job and I've turned down tons of jobs in the past just to be with my children because their dad's on the road and he's not around as much. I just want to point out that this is so goofy how she's trying to position herself as just like any other mom trying to support her kid. She has an entire wine company that she started just based off of the clout from the fact that she used to star in The Sopranos. I feel like most moms, and just correct me if I'm wrong, and you're a mom, I, I don't want to get this wrong, 
But I feel like most of y'all don't have massively successful wine companies that you're getting money from on a regular basis. And so usually when someone says, I'm gonna do whatever I have to for my kids, I am totally behind that and I understand. I mean, I don't understand because I don't have kids, but I support you getting that bag. But I'm sorry, this lady is literally a celebrity. I'm sure she's not a billionaire or anything like that, but you were on one of the most popular shows of all time. I also like how she says she doesn't want to be at the mercy of a strike. I guess we're implying that we don't support the writers or the actors strike, which is awesome. <laughs> really glad you were in the industry. Um, these are the exact kind of people we need in Hollywood, clearly. I just don't care. I don't. I'd rather save my family than save face, she said. All right, so this is where the article lost me. Well, I'm going to be honest. They lost me when they said that she was anti-vax. Because I cannot believe that this was not only said with her entire chest, but then published and she really thought this was going to make her look good. The Sons of Anarchy star says her boyfriend, Robbie Stabler, of the band All Them Witches, and her children from her relationship with Shooter Jennings are supportive of her work on the site. So already I'm like, what, 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 do you, what do you mean your kids are supportive of your OnlyFans career? But oh, she clarifies, my kids were the ones that were like, do it. She'll, and she's referring to her 15-year-old daughter, she'll edit the pictures too because they want certain things that we haven't been able to do. Listen, I have read some crazy stuff on the internet. I have really just seen people say the most bizarre things and think that it makes them look good, but my 15 year old daughter helps me edit my OnlyFans photos. Record breaking. How could you reach this level of delusion where you think this is, you're proud of this? She goes on though. I used to have a lot of money and then all of a sudden I went from being allowed to work to never being allowed to work again. I was never the kind of actor that took jobs to sustain the business. I literally took jobs to feed my family, De Mateo said. I just, it's so hard for me to find it in my heart to feel sorry for someone who self-described used to have a lot of money. Like this isn't some case where you're just some struggling mom. You are admitting that you were totally rich and you still have your wine company. If you go to her Instagram, she's still promoting it at this point. Speaking of that, we are going to go to her Instagram in a second because there's some weird stuff going on there. But like, Bruh. So when people make nasty comments about why I would have done that, my response is darn right. I hope you're never in the position I'm in. I take care of an entire family and a lot of other people who depend on me. She also revealed her kids have read the comments about her decision to join OnlyFans, which worried her at first. I know that my daughter read an article and read some of the hater comments. I sat down and I go, you know, mommy is not the things that they're trying to say. She's like, we don't even have to have this conversation. She schooled me, said De Mateo. And I'm like, bruh, on its own, I have such nebulous feelings towards this exchange. But in conjunction with the fact that you are having this very same daughter help you edit the photos for OnlyFans, this is so inappropriate. The role in which you have involved your children. I don't think an article about you joining an adult platform should really be mentioning your kids at all, other than I do this for them and that's all you need to know. They're going to go ahead and read this stuff and have a different image of me because of what people are saying, because God knows how suggestive the society has become. Let me help you out, Drea. I am not suggesting that this is weird. I am declaring it, bro. I cannot believe this is a real article. Like. I think part of the reason I'm making this video is like, if I don't share this with someone, I'm going to think I just hallucinated this. So it goes on to talk about like what she's doing in her life now that she's not acting as much. And they bring up her darn wine right here. And then it goes on to say her OnlyFans work is funding personal projects like a t-shirt printing enterprise with Stabler. So whereas the actual moms who are using OnlyFans to maybe support their children, because that is all they had and rent is due. You're turning around and investing that money into your other businesses that you have because, and I can't stress this enough, you are rich. <laughs> like why is she acting like this is all she has left? Society has just pushed her to the edge here. It's, it's insulting. She even goes on to slip up at the end and say the reason she started the OnlyFans wasn't 
because this was her only choice. It, it literally says, De Mateo also has her eye on a podcast or talk show style work on her OnlyFans, in addition to her racier content. The original intent was my boyfriend and I were going to do a show on there because we knew we wouldn't be censored. And it was, you know, talking about worldly affairs with a funny spin on it and all the insanity that's been looming for the past three years, she said. So out of your own darn mouth, you know full well that this has nothing to do with like dire financial situations. This is just, just say you want to do OnlyFans. I'm not going to judge you for that. But the way that she has presented this is just, it's embarrassing. Also, speaking of her Instagram, where as you can see, she is promoting her OnlyFans. I'm not going to scroll down, but she's got pictures of her kids on here. There are actually a lot of just these 12 and 15 year old kids faces being blasted all over the darn internet and that is just such a huge pet peeve for me i absolutely hate when people are trying to promote any form of adult content but you also think this is an appropriate platform to paste your kids photos and what sorry i'm literally short circuiting right now because i can't believe this is real i also just want to loop back to fox news for a second and say that the fact that they are doing basically free promo for this lady's OnlyFans, when she's in this very article talking about inappropriate stuff she's doing with her kids involving this OnlyFans, you know darn well that Fox News would have dragged anybody else for this. They would have been like, oh my gosh, uh, like OnlyFans is corrupting the, 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 the society and there are children in danger. They always say, think of the children. Okay, well, magically, when somebody here actually espouses your same anti-vaccine narratives, it's no longer think of the children. It's like, you're a girl boss. We'll totally platform you and say that you're just girl bossing it up uh, and you're just such a dedicated mother. Like these people do not care about kids. I can't stress this enough. None of this save the children or to protect kids, it's garbage. You got a Republican representative out here in the showing of Beetlejuice totally groping her boyfriend just fully in public. The movie version of Beetlejuice is rated PG, by the way, so if you're worried about the kids, maybe you should be worried about them running into creepy Republican degenerates who are groping each other in public at a showing of a family-friendly theater production. But instead, it just magically all gets directed to drag queens uh, for existing. Teachers who are just mentioning that gay people are real and all of a sudden they're the problems think of the kids you're you're corrupting the youth like really fox news and nobody involved in this sort of drivel has any sort of consistency the whole thing is just a construct to maintain the hate that they have for anybody who is not them but yeah overall i will never understand why people who have this much privilege and money and power open their mouths to say these dumb things in the first place. Like you could have just kept your comments to yourself, gotten your darn shots, and we wouldn't have been any wiser that you hold these really dumb views. If I was a celebrity and I had awful, awful opinions, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I would just keep it to myself. <laughs> this is bad, but I would be like, wow, so many people are giving me money. I'm just gonna zip it and let them do it. You know what I mean? But well, instead we've got our JK Rowlings and our this lady and our you name it, just determined to ruin their reputation over absolute nonsense. And I mean, if only it was nonsense, a lot of this stuff winds up being really harmful now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, we've got the uh, kid interns, which is not a new concept, except the kids are your children and the job is OnlyFans. So I think I'm just gonna log off for today.